Hey everyone, Matt Pisarsik from Razor Emporium. A lot of guys out there have seen pictures of me or videos uh, showing off a very large presentation toggle and we've had so many emails and requests to do a video about it that we thought we'd go ahead and kind of show more of the backstory of, of this advertisement piece. So a lot of people may or may not know, but Gillette has produced uh, throughout their history many different incarnations of their razors that were to a larger scale size. They also made other pieces such as uh, boxes and blade dispensers and other things that showed off their, their products at a larger scale. These were usually made for retail store windows, trade shows, um, the World's Fair, but generally it was just a way to promote some of the most amazing you know, things that Gillette had come up with. You know, we all think of them as a razor company and a blade company, but they were a company of engineers and of ingenuity. And so I think that there was a lot of pride that went into the things they made and the way they made them. And I think they'd like to show that off every once in a while with something of this kind of quality. So this large piece here was, uh, if you, as you see, it's not just the toggle. So in a lot of the pictures you've seen me with just maybe holding the toggle or the, behind me on my, on my shelves in my desk and area. But, uh, not a lot of people know that there's this full-size scale uh, presentation case that matches the uh, small original toggle set here from you know the 1960 toggle uh, that is all complete. We don't bring this uh, presentation case out a lot because it's very fragile and it's very large and heavy and it's actually been damaged over the years. We've done some light repairs and, and uh, kind of re you know fixes on it but it's really something that uh, is kind of fragile, so we just kind of keep it packed away to make sure that it's going to be preserved. But as you see here, it's kind of interesting. This piece is solid metal, and I don't have a scale on me, but I can tell you it's probably at least 10 to 15 pounds. It is it's solid brass, machined. Um, and when I first got this, I, the first thing I always ask and everyone asks me is, does it open? And the answer is no. I wish it did, but this bottom piece is actually just held on with a set screw and it's a, uh, it's a lower assembly, it does not open. Each one of these pieces is in fact uh, just screwed together and it, you know, we have these little so small set screws that help hold all the pieces you know, together. But the, the most noticeable thing I picked out right away was the fact that the dial only has one, the dot, and number three it doesn't have you know four or five or sorry you know five seven and nine on it it just has a one and three and as you see now it makes sense being in this presentation case I'm sure it cost you know some serious money of the for the stamps uh, for Gillette to produce this and you know whatever tooling and dyeing so I think that they only had those few numbers on there because you'd only see those as it laid flat in this presentation case along with it is a two scale 20 pack of Gillette Blue Blades that would come with uh, your toggle sets, just like you see here in my uh, collection piece, you have a 20 pack of Gillette Blue Blades in with it. And so just like that, it's to scale with the razor, and so you can imagine yourself loading on a pack of blades into your toggle razor here. Quite, uh, quite the sight here. This is made of wood, and you see a couple little signs of age on it. The blades don't come out. I've never tried to pull them out, but they look like they're just kind of wedged in there. They are full-size blades, but I've never really tried to take it out. I don't want to damage it, so I've always just kind of left that alone. But it's just kind of a neat thing. You know, I've, um, I know that of at least a few other large presentation razors like this, um, in fact, I know of a, uh, a lady from the Gillette Collector's Handbook that has a single ring old type razor. I know that on the back, of the Gillette Collector's Handbook, author Phil Krumholtz shows himself holding a new improved uh, style razor. And I know that other people uh, just recently, I think on one of the Facebook groups, showed off a large uh, presentation razor. Uh, those other models, I believe, are made out of wood, from my knowledge. Um, I don't know of another one that's made out of solid brass that's all metal like this toggle. And kind of just another interesting side note, I mentioned this in a previous video, but Gillette must have had a scheme behind the way that they uh, put these together because they scaled them to the same dimensions. This is my cardboard box here. It's a little damaged of 20 Gillette blue blades. Now this is probably uh, from the earlier part 
of the uh, 1950s, you know, right around the time the dispenser came out and the blue blades came out. But as you see here, the 20 pack, and this is a 20 pack, they go together and this, this could, could technically uh, fit inside of this box. I believe it's all to scale correctly. I'm gonna carefully try to put this in. And yep, there you go, it fits right inside. So obviously Gillette had a uh, similar metric of scaling their items up so that I guess if they ever did put them together in a advertisement or in a store window or in a trade show that uh, they would all look consistent together. Um, I've never quite taken the measurements and figured out the scaling but I'm, I'm sure that uh, it's definitely multiple times larger. But definitely just a uh, interesting period of history and different, very interesting advertisement piece. You know, we got this um, kind of by random. It was an eBay listing. It came to us from a ex-employee of Gillette. And after he had passed away, his son had sold this off on eBay. And uh, the son had explained that the set had come directly from his father, from the company. And that it was used as some kind of promotion right around 1960 when this style of toggle had come out. This is the style you'd see typically like an F2 or F4 toggle on the date code. And, you know, Gillette was very proud of this model. I think that they made this in part for that reason. So just wanted to uh, kind of tell this official story once and for all. And I hope you guys have enjoyed the video today. Please do keep the questions coming. If any of uh, the videos you want to see made, any kind of concepts around double edge, straight razor, single edge shaving, and also any of the historical aspects of the Gillette Safety Razor Company, we're here to help guys. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and stay tuned for more videos and education. Thanks for watching guys. Thank you for staying tuned to Razor Emporium.